Hey everyone, it's Sarah, and I'm here with my first layout using the supplies that I got from the Inspiration Station store for the month of June. Um, I didn't have time to do a separate video as far as um, showing you what I got, so I'm doing it here. I'm just going to hold everything up really quickly and show you. Um, so I got the Bella Boulevard Rover Collection Kit, and this is dog-themed which is perfect because I do have two dogs. So I'm showing you here the pattern paper and then over on this other side there are, that is the sticker pack that comes with it. And um, yeah, I just, I didn't have time to do a separate video because I, I got it in the mail that I needed to go ahead and start working on it so I could have some layouts on time. So, <laughs> um, and plus my kids are home right now so it's, you know, I don't have a lot of quiet time. Okay, so I also got these Simple Stories dog snap cards. So these are all four by six cards that are all dog themed. How cute are those? Um, I also got these Queen and Company flare badges, which are dog themed as well. And these Queen and Company little dotties, they're like little fabric button types that go with it really well. And then these are also from Queen and Company. These are just buttons and the colors coordinate with that as well. So I got those. And then I also got some of this Boardwalk collection from Bow Bunny. So this is very beach themed. So this is the pattern paper collection. And then I will turn it over and show you the sticker sheet that is on the inside of it as well. So I have those. I really like those ombre letter stickers. Those are going to be fun to work with. <laughs> okay, so to go along with the beach theme, I also have these that are from Bow Bunny as well. They're little um, cards. They're like 4x4 four four and 3x3 three three and 2x2. Two two. And then these are from Paper House. These are die cuts and they're beach themed as well. That's a little sample of what is in there. So I got those. And then I also got a couple of art supplies. I got this really great stencil from Tim Holtz. It's called Speckles. So that's going to be fun. I'm very excited to use some more stencils. And then this is something I've never heard of before, and I'm not 100% sure how to use it. <laughs> um, I have opened it, and um, I'm actually going to open it here in a second. but. Um, I've opened it and looked at it to use it, but it wasn't what I thought it was. I thought it was going to be like modeling paste or something like that, but it's like a, it's like a color, almost like an ink, but it's liquid. So I'm going to have to figure out how to use that. <laughs> um, I can tell you on my first two layouts, I do not use it. I, I had pulled it out, I think, to use it on my second layout, but I ended up not really understanding it, so I didn't use it. But um, I'll have to do some research and see how to use that stuff. So I can use it on some upcoming. See that I thought was like the paste or something, but that was that's a sponge. So I don't know. I'll have to figure it out. Play with it a little bit. So I got that. <laughs> and then I also got some of this Dino Wakely um, acrylic paint in lemon, which is really cool. I've been wanting to use some of her paints. I just haven't purchased any yet, so that's cool. And then I got a spatula as well. So that's what I got. So that's going to be working with for the month of June and I'm going to go ahead and get into my first layout here. So my first layout is going to be of my Annabelle and it's going to be an 8x8 eight eight layout because it's going to go in her scrapbook which is an 8x8. Eight eight. It actually ends up being like 8.5x8.5 eight eight total. Um, but I printed out two pictures of her. I think those are 2x3s and you know one she has a purse around her neck and then the other one she has sunglasses on her face. And that was Layla. So she, <laughs> Layla likes to put stuff on Annabelle. And Annabelle is very good and lets her do it. So um, I'm very appreciative to Annabelle for being so good with the girls, even when they want to, like, put stuff on her. She doesn't necessarily want sunglasses on, but <laughs> she lets them do it for a few minutes. <laughs> so that's kind of what this layout is going to be about. So I'm using the Bella Boulevard paper. All of it's from Bella Boulevard. And the background paper there is like a nice green chevron. And then I put it on top of some brown paper that has um, bones on it, although you can't see the bones. <laughs> so it's mainly just to, uh, to back the pictures there. And then I'm using this really nice striped paper as well as another layering aspect. So 
Um, I got up to get my Tim Holtz Distress Inks. I'm going to use the color Gathered Twigs, and I'm using my tiny, my mini applicator to go ahead and ink the edge of them, this paper here. And if you take off the pad and put it in the bottom of the, um, the ink pad there, it stays there. It's really cool. <laughs> okay, so um, I got those down, and now I'm looking through this to see if I can find a good place to do some journaling. So I like this one here, so I'm going to use that for my journaling. And I'm just making sure there's nothing else in there I wanted to use right now. Um, so that is from Simple Story. So I'm going to get the ink back out here and ink around the edges of this one as well, just to tie those two together. So I really like that. And then um, I'm looking at the sticker sheet here, trying to see if there are any stickers that I want to use. I know I'm going to use those black stickers for part of my title. And I'm also going to pull these out here from the... Um, from the uh, Bow Bunny Beach Collection, I'm going to use those letters as well to make the other part of my title. So I like this heart that says Family Dog. I don't want to use the entire card, so I'm just going to cut out the heart and use that. I'm just going to fussy cut this out. Very slowly. <laughs> I'm being very careful, so I don't like completely make a wonky heart when I don't want one. <laughs> so. Okay, so I like how everything's going, so I'm going to go ahead and get this stuff stuck down here. And guys, my ATG ran out, Ugh, and I don't have any more refills, and Hobby Lobby is out of refills. I went to go get some, and they were out, so I got that, um, that roller one there. It is something that I've used before, so I know it's going to be fine, but I am going to have to order some uh, refills online or something, so yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to be using that for a while. I got a little four-pack of those. They were fairly cheap, but yeah, so no ATG for me for a little bit. So I used a part of that border sticker there, the yellow scallop, and I just um, cut it down to size to what I needed. So I'm just looking at the stickers to see what else I want to use and kind of have it in my head. Um, so I think I'm going to go ahead and start working on the title here. And the title on the top is going to say, Thank You for Being So. And then the bottom is going to say, Tolerant. So, um, you know, I'm using these letter stickers here on the top. I'm only going to show you a couple and then I'll finish it up off camera because, yeah, <laughs> it takes a while <laughs> to get all those little stickers down. Um, so it says, thank you for being so, and then I'm going to use these large black stickers here to write out the word tolerant. And these are so cool and wonky that I am, I'm had, I had fun just like um, nuzzling them in, like the L and the E I think looks really cool together like that. So I really like the way that that word turned out. So I'm going to do that along the bottom here. And again, that's the sticker sheet from the Bella Boulevard Rover collection. Which is super cute. I'm really happy I got it. I'm going to have to replace some of the older stuff that I have that I don't ever use because it's old. So <laughs> I'm going to have to replace it with this stuff. So I'm very happy I got it. Okay, so I put a little arrow sticker there that says cute and playful. And then a little tab that says pet me because Annabelle loves to be pet. If you are touching her, she will sit still all day long as long as you are touching her. Um, so I use one of these Queen & Company flare badges here, and those are really cool. They're self-adhesive on the back, so I didn't have to add anything else, so that was nice. Um, so I put that up there on the journal card. I'm using two of these little buttons here as well. And I am going to use um, glue dots to put those down. I keep forgetting that I have glue dots as adhesive. I just don't ever use them. I have them, and they work great for things like this. I should probably use those with sequins, too. I think next time I use sequins, I'm going to try that and see if the glue dots keep them down well. It's just so easy and I have them, so I don't know what I'm doing <laughs> by not pulling them out. <laughs> so I really like the way that that looks. I'm gonna go ahead and do my journaling. And my journaling says, Annabelle is such a sweet dog and she is so good with the girls, especially Layla. She lets them put things on her and she's very patient with them. I love how sweet this amazing dog is. So that's what my journaling says and I, 
we're really surprised how sweet she is because she was a stray and we ended up getting her from a boxer rescue in San Antonio. But she was a stray and strays are not always super sweet. <laughs> you know, they're very skittish at first, but from the beginning, she's just been the biggest sweetheart ever. So that is it. That's going to complete my layout. A nice little one to go in Annabelle's album. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please let me know and I'll try to answer them best I can. And if you haven't checked out the Inspiration Station store, please do. I'm going to have links in the description for you to go check them out, both on their website and on Facebook. Okay, hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you again soon. Bye!